in the surface menu, we find the patch command right here. In the surface toolbar, we find the patch command right there. And in our surface tool tab, we'll find the patch right here. Now, one very common use of patch is to do exactly what its name implies, to patch a hole or an opening on a surface. To, to get a very simple example of that, just go ahead and draw a circle somewhere on your screen over here. doesn't matter what size or anything. And extrude it so that it's a surface there. And what I want to do now is I want to patch the top opening of this uh, uh, cylindrical shape. So I'll go to Surface, Patch, choose the edge, and press Enter. Now once I do that, the patch options open up. And what I'm going to do is I want to see what's going on right now, so I'm going to click Preview. And then the software will show me this is what you have so far. Notice that I have the sample spacing of 0 .1, 0 0.1. I'm going to put that to 1 so that it samples uh, less. And then I got surface U and V spans. This is how many isoparms I wanted to span. On the, uh, on the U and V direction. So right now it's set to 12 and 12. I don't think I need that much. Maybe 6 and 6. Uh, let me preview the changes. As you can see there, uh, I already by just by changing it to 6 and 6, it's gotten a little bit more, uh, uh, you know, less, less flat, a little bit more rounded. And notice that I also have a control here for the stiffness. Because what this is doing is this is basically stretching this surface over the edge of our cylinder, maintaining tangency, which means the tangent direction of the cylindrical surface is being maintained. That's why it's going straight up and then turning to the middle. So if I reduce the stiffness to maybe 0.1, preview, this is what I get because it's pulling with less tension. You know, so you get to work with the stiffness and the number of points over here. Let's see what happens by changing to 10 by 10. Preview. There. So as you can see, all of these options here help you configure the surface exactly the way you want. So I'm going to go back to my 6 and 6 and change the stiffness to 1, preview, because that is exactly what I'm looking for, a nice rounded end cap for this uh, object. Notice that if I turn off the tangency and click preview, I lose the shape. It's just a flat uh, patch at that point. But I'm going to leave it there, preview, that is what I want, so I'm going to click OK. And there is my patch on top of that cylinder. This comes in very handy to make, for example, a cushion. If I was trying to make a rounded cushion for the top of a stool, uh, I can now delete this, and, and there is my rounded cushion. All I have to do is build a base on the bottom here and the cylindrical part. Let's use the patch tool to create something a little bit more interesting. Let me go to top view, zoom out, and uh, what I'm going to draw are a series of topographical lines uh, defining the shape of an island. So maybe something like this. And I'm going to continue doing these. I'm going to skip the video to the end and let you preview what I drew so you can draw something similar so we don't waste too much time. So 
So here is the island topographical lines that I drew. Let's go over to our perspective view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these curves. And uh, I'm going to use my control key to deselect the outer one. And then I'm going to move these guys up. Again, control click, then move up, control click, drag. Control click, drag, control click, drag, and one last time. Control click and drag. So there is my curves now positioned at the altitude that they are representing on the topographical chart. And now, very simple guys, we're going to select all of them and go to surface patch in the patch options i'm going to click preview and there is you know the first preview of the island i notice that it's trying to follow those curves but obviously it's failing like right here it's really distant from the edges and it's not even reaching that one on top the reason for that is because we don't have enough U and V spans. It doesn't have enough of a skeletal structure to bend to conform to those contours. So I'm going to go over here maybe with like 24 by 24. Click preview. And there, now we're starting to see more interesting forms and shapes. Now notice that at some points it's going to, because of the way it's wrapping around these curves, you might get a dip that you might not like or too much of a dip like in this case here so if you want to leave that like that it's okay but you can also work with the stiffness how tight is pulling this surface so that you can get rid of some of that so if i went over here to stiffness three for example preview notice that it smooth those shapes uh much better so it's up to you how you're creating your uh your patch uh, and how smooth or you know you want so a two for example will be a little bit less get a little bit more form there and once you're happy with the result you click OK and as you can see we have created our uh, mount mountain and uh, big uh, big island or whatever it is you were trying to do with a very simple command uh, just by drawing those topographical lines.